It's been 28 straight boxes without a find for the Dansko Lincoln Penny album. In front of me are the other two California boxes from Pine Creek Coins, boxes 179 and 180 for the series, and I'm hoping that episode number 97 can get us another cent for the book. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fine's Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. We have another two box penny hunt to try to get another scent for this Dansko Lincoln Penny album. The last time we had a scent slotted was in episode 82 and it was boxes 149 and 150 and this is 179 and 180. Now I've already popped the top of the two boxes from Pine Creek Coins. Thank you Pine Creek Coins for the trade because I wanted to go ahead and simplify the intro for you guys and get right to the hunt. If for some reason you're new to the channel or new to the series, you can start this entire playlist from box one because I have that playlist listed both down below in the video description as well as pinned up here. Now I'll say I did pop both tops of both boxes and box two does not look that promising, but neither did the last two and it had quite a bit of copper and weed scents. I will tell you though, box one, I did spy a couple of weed scent enders. We have a 40 something S I believe and another 40 something S or D mint mark. So it looks like with a couple of 40s weed scent enders, and that could be a good sign. I don't know what's on the other side of these rolls, but having two wheat scent enters in a box that I can see right off the get-go is a good sign. Too bad they're not 30s. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slide the book out of the way. You guys know the mission. We got to find something. We have 100 rolls to hunt. Let me get right into it. We're going to grab a roll number one, and of course, I'll bring you guys in on my first find in that first box with two enders. Roll number two will give us our first wheat scent find of the box. And like the Enders, it's a 40s, but it's just a 1944 Philadelphia. Roll number six, wheat scent two is reverse facing. And that's going to be a 1946 Philly. Roll number 16 will give us wheat scent number three. And that's going to be a 1953 San Francisco. We're on roll number 20 and we have our fourth wheat scent now. So this is going to be another 1953, but this time it's a Denver. Just grabbed roll 21 out of the box, and I told you we had those two 40s wheats and enders. Flip this one around, and we've got another one. Let's see what year it is, and what mint it is, and if it has friends. That wheat scent ender for number five is a 41S. Roll number 23, wheat scent six, another 1953 Denver. Same roll, another 53, but this time San Francisco. Roll 35 is going to have the other wheat scent ender, and I already took a look, and I must have made a mistake when I said I flipped that roll around. It was probably just the other wheat scent ender that we had already expected. So not going to be three enders so far. It's going to be our second one, and the second one that we already knew about. It's a 40-something. Let's see what it is. Wheat scent number eight is going to be a 47S. Definitely a little bit better of a date. We'll definitely take it. And that makes eight for the hunt. Well, roll 39 is going to be our best roll of the box because we have eight wheat cents on the board and we have three more in this roll that I already checked out. We've got one in the front, which is a 1946 Philadelphia. And then when I flattened them out, I saw that one. And then that one looked old by the seven I saw. So I flattened it out and saw 57. So wheat cent number 10 now. Is a 54 Denver and wheat scent number 11 is going to be a 1957 Denver. Box is heating up, but only 11 rolls to go. Roll 44, a dozen Wheaties found. 1948 Denver. Roll number 47, wheat scent lucky number 13. Another 1946, and this is actually in pretty nice shape for a 46. We'll take it. Well, rule 48 is going to give us an oldie. Unfortunately, it's not the 1911 we need. It's the 1910. We'll take that, though. Man, second year Lincoln Wheat Scent. Minted in Philadelphia with decent detail. Might be an upgrader, though, at worst case. We'll take it. That's an oldie for the board. Two rolls left. Roll number 49. Box isn't done yet. 
Weed scent number 15 peeking out. And that's another 1948 Denver. We have finished the first box of this two box hunt. And when I opened the boxes up, this is the one that I thought would be the better of the two. Hopefully it's not, although it was still really good. 15 wheat cents on the board, mostly in the 40s, some in the 50s. We did score a 1910 in decent shape. Could be an upgrader, but not an addition. We got one Canadian from 1975. We got one 1959 and two 69Ss. Definitely light again on those. As far as copper, we knew it would be kind of light. It was only one pound, 15 ounces. So not the two pounds we usually get in these boxes, but close enough. Now we're gonna move on to box two. And like I said, it doesn't look that good. It looks like there's a lot more zinc scents in here, but you never know. The last time we hunted a two box hunt from this same subscriber, it looked similar to this and it did perform decently as far as weed scents are concerned. Oh, it's going to perform decently as far as wheat scents are concerned, all right. All right, let me go ahead and start cracking into the rolls, and I'll bring you guys back when I have a find in box number two. Just grabbed roll 60 of the 100 roll hunt out of the box, flipped it around, and this time I'm not making that mistake. We do have a wheat scent ender. That wheat scent ender for number 16 of the hunt. Just another 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number 62, Weed Scent 17, is going to be a 1950D. Man, if that was a nickel, that'd be awesome. Roll number 69, Weed Scent number 18, and the third of this box. And that's going to be another 1953, I believe. Yep, San Francisco again. Roll 70, Weed Scent 19 is going to be a 1951 I believe 51. It is. 1951 Denver. Roll number 71 is going to give us two weed scents, 20 and 21. The front one is going to be just another 1946. And I think that's just a spot. Yeah, just a spot. 1946 Philly. Seen a lot of those. And weed scent 21, when I flattened it out, I saw the wheat reverse. And this is going to be... A 1947 Philadelphia. Roll number 74 is going to give us wheat scent number 22. I just opened it, flattened it out, and I spied a wheat scent in the back. So wheat scent number 22 of the hunt. It's going to be a 1957 Philadelphia. Roll 75 is going to give us wheat scent number 23, and it's a beauty. Take a look at that. I was pulling down the scents, and that exposed, and I was like, holy cow. Now, it's probably just in the 50s or late 50s, but it's a beauty nonetheless. Not the late 50s, mid 50s, 53 Denver, and that makes sense because we found a whole bunch of 53s in this two-box hunt, but maybe it'll be an upgrader. You never know. We'll take that all day long, and uh, we got half a box to go. Roll number 76 is going to give us two wheat scents towards the back of the roll. And I noticed that one, so I was just trying to get to it. And I exposed a 56 in decent shape as well. So wheat scent number 24 is a 56D. It does have some corrosion and discoloration on it, but I will check it for any of the RPMs. And I don't see it. 1956 Denver. And then the other wheat scent in the roll, pretty beat up. 1948 Philly. Roll number 78 is going to give us our 26th wheat scent of the two box hunt. Before I get to it, I did notice we have a 1940 Canadian scent, so that's going to be a King George VI, and we'll definitely take that. Nice oldie, and I didn't film it earlier, but we also got a 1964 Laureate portrait. So a couple older Canadians in the hunt as well, and for our 26th wheat scent back here, we're going to have... A 1958 Denver. Didn't have that one on the board yet. Roll number 80. Wheat scent number 27, which is the 12th of the second box. A 1955 Denver. We didn't have that one either. Roll number 82 will give us two more wheat scents for 29 because we have yet another 1953 Denver in the front. And I noticed it right here and it could be an older one. Hopefully it is. Weed scent number 29? No. Just another 1953 Denver. Wow. Roll number 85. And the good news is 
We now have 30 wheat cents. The bad news is none are from the 30s. Until now. 1936 on cue, Philadelphia. Let's check it for that DDO. 1936 Philly. I do not see the markers for the DDO, but guess what? We do have a 30s now. It's not one we need, but it's one we'll take. Roll 86. Wheat sent number 31. 16th of this box, so now it officially has passed the other box. Just the 1944 Philly, though. Roll number 87 has two more wheat cents. Just cracked open the roll, laid it out. The second one in was a wheat cent. And when I flattened it out, I see another one that could be old back there. So wheat cent number 32 is a 1941. We might as well check it for that or the three different DDOs. I have found two of them. Still haven't found one of them yet, and this is not going to be one. 1941 Philly, and wheat scent number 33, which I'm kind of excited about. It does look like it could be old, and it's not. But it is a 44S. We don't see a lot of S-minted wheat scents in my boxes, so still a welcome sight. Dang it, not an oldie. Same roll, we have a third wheat scent in there for wheat scent 34. 1956 Philadelphia. Roll 88. Wheat scent number 35. 1940 Philadelphia. We'll take that, and that's 20 now for this box with 12 rolls left. Roll number 92 is going to give us wheat scent number 36, and of course, it's going to be another 1953 from Denver. Roll number 94. Wheat scent 37. 1942 Philly. Same roll, wheat scent 38, a 1944 Philly. Roll number 97 is going to get us the 40 wheat cents because wheat scent number 39 is a 58D and wheat scent number 40 is going to be a 1945 Philadelphia, which we didn't have one of those from that year. Roll number 100 will give us a parting gift, our 41st wheat scent of the hunt, and it's going to be a 1954 Philadelphia. Let me finish this roll, get them tallied up, and give you guys a box recap and a hunt recap in just a second. Well, that's going to do for that two-box hunt. We had a lot of wheat scents. Man, we were close to filling up a full roll of wheat scents. We needed 50, but we got 41. 15 in box one, 26 in box two, and box two looked like the less nice box, and it had way more wheat scents, and it had more copper, because now after a two box hunt, four pounds, five ounces of copper. Now on top of all the finds, I pulled aside the best finds, the 1910, hopefully an upgrader, the 36, because we don't see a lot of 30s wheat scents, and maybe another upgrader, that 53 Denver, we'll have to see. A King George Canadian, a Laureate Portrait 64 Canadian, and then a 1975 as well. As far as the side finds, we had 559s, only 369 S's, so two in box one, one in box two, not many things there. And even though it's not in the nicest shape, I do like the toning of this 69 Denver, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it for my collection because it definitely is a beautiful looking scent as far as its color. Let me go ahead and compare the finds. I don't know if we're going to have any additions or upgrades necessarily, but with the nice scent here, an older one, and a few S-minted wheat scents in the 40s, maybe we will. Let me go ahead and compare the finds to the book. I'll be back with a book recap and some final thoughts on the hunt. Well, I've compared the finds to the album, and we will have a couple of upgrades. Unfortunately, the 1953 Denver, we already have a nice one in the book, so that won't be upgraded. I do believe it's time to go ahead and plug in this 1948 Denver. The other one has a little more pitting and corrosion, so we'll go ahead and upgrade that one. But the biggest upgrade is going to be the 1910. The one we have in the book is pretty much slick and uh, not looking too nice. And at least this one has more detail. Let me go ahead and plug in the two upgrades, and I'll be right back. All right, the two upgrades are added to the book, although we didn't add any slot fillers two upgrades this late in the game makes me happy and especially getting an older one that looks better in the album now after 180 boxes we're still stuck at 200 out of the 234 cents found but we did get the two upgrades and i will tell you 
finding a 1910 gives me hope we can find that 1911 as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this two box penny hunt. I know I did. Anytime you can get more than 25 wheat cents in one box and more than 40 in a two box hunt, you can't get mad at that. Those pesky 30s are still elusive, but we will keep hunting and maybe we'll find them soon enough. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.